गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज़ द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ चमेली देवी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट एंटी कैंसर एजेंट स्पेशली मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री ऑफ एल्काइलेटिंग एजेंट एज अ एंटी कैंसर सो फर्स्टली विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कैंसर बिफोर वी विल गो टू एंटी कैंसर एजेंट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डिस्कस द कैंसर सो वॉट इज कैंसर तो कैंसर इज अ टर्म यूज फॉर डिसीज इन विच एबनॉर्मल सेल्स डिवाइड विदाउट कंट्रोल एंड आर एबल टू इन्वेड अदर टिश्यूज कैंसर सेल कैन स्प्रेड टू अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी थ्रू द ब्लड एंड लिम सिस्टम दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज मेटास्टेटिस इफ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कैंसर सेल्स सो कैंसर सेल्स इन्वॉल्व द डेवलपमेंट एंड रिप्रोडक्शन ऑफ एबनॉर्मल सेल्स cancer cells are usually non functional cancer cells growth is not subjected to the normal body control mechanism cancer cells eventually metastasize to other organ by circulatory lymphatic system so right now we are coming on tumor because the initial stage of cancer is a tumor so two types of tumor are present in any cancerous body or any cancerous cells it is two types first benign and second one is malignant so what is benign non cancerous and not an immediate threat to life even though treatment eventually may be required for the health so benign tumor is not any dangerous tumor it can uh, uh, remove by the treatment and it is not life threatening condition for any patient if we will talk about malignant tumors it is tending to worsen and cause death invasive and metastasis so it's very dangerous to any patient it has malignant stage of the tumor so if you will see in this picture there is two pictures one is malignant tumors and one is benign tumors if you will see this benign tumor uh, it it's just attached to the a uh, body but malignant tumor what is it, it is doing this malignant tumors generate the cancer cells and harmful for the human so right now we are coming on types of cancer so cancer is basically divided in six type but according to the situation of body parts it's also subdivided in various phases so as we will discuss about carcinoma carcinoma is just skin cancer skin or in tissues that line or cover all internal organ especially epithelial cells reported cancer cases are carcinomas second one is sarcoma it is found in bone cartilage fat muscles blood vessels or other connective or supportive tissue third one is leukemia it is known as blood cancer white blood cells and their precursor cells such as bone marrow cells causes large number of abnormal blood cells to produce and enter the blood fourth one is lymphoma cells of immune system that affect lymphatic system Fine. fifth one is myeloma b cells that produce antibodies spread through the lymphatic system sixth one is central nervous system cancer cancer that benign in the tissue of the brain and spinal cord this is the cell cycle of any cancerous cells and what is the attacking point which can be treated by the drug so i uh, if you will see in this picture there is a uh, total cell uh, devices phases like first dna synthesis then prophase metaphase and a phase telophase early protein synthesis phase again it is repeated then rsn synthesis so in which what point we have to if any cancer cell follow this part we have to stop this metaphase or prophase or any anaphase or rna synthesis protein synthesis so we have to give a drug on a specific channel on the specific part like we have to inhibit protein and you can give protein uh, uh, inhibitor that will reduce the protein of any cancer cell and cell will die right now we are coming on classification of alkylating agent as a an anti cancer anti cancer is in lot of classes but we are discussing today in this topic is only alkylating agent so alkylating agent are compound that work by adding an alkyl group to guanine base of the dna molecule preventing the strands of the double helix from lining as they should 
This caused breakage of the DNA strand affecting the ability of the cancer cell to multiply. In this class, there is various subclasses. So, in alkylating agent, the first class is nitrogen muster. Nitrogen musters firstly developed from mustard var gases or world war first which were highly reactive vesicant. First chemical used for cancer, not cell cycle specific but still more active than dividing tissues. So in this class various drug arts comes like maclorithamine, cyclophosphamide, ephophosphamide, melphalan and chlorambucil. These are the structure of maclorithamine, chlorambucil, melphalan, cyclophosphamide and ephophosphamide because we are studying medicinal chemistry so we have to keep in mind the structure also because without the structure you cannot go for SAR or any structure act related activity. Second class is this ethylamine diamine derivative class. In this class there is two drugs one is thiotepa and one is hexamethylene or ultramine. These are the structure of thiotepa and trimethylamine. And third class is alkyl sulfonate. In this, the drug is comes as a busulfan. This is the structure of busulfan. Next class in alkylating agent is nitrosoureas. Nitrosoureas means urea is coupled with this structure and nitrogen is also present in this structure. So in this class, there is a three drugs. This is carmastin, lomastin, and streptojotosin. This is this is the structure of carmastin. And this is the structure of lomastin and streptojotosin. It is also used as a diabetes inducer in animal diabetic models. This is streptojotosin. The last class in anti-cancer drug is this triazine. Triazine means the structure which contains three nitrogen. That's why the triazine word is comes. So in this class, there is a three drugs. One is procarbazine. Second one is dacarbazine and third one is timozolamide. So if you will see the structure of procarbazine, there is a three nitrogen, one, two, three. Uh, second one is dacarbazine. This, there is also a three nitrogen in various parties. So you can see the structure here also. Uh, either is, uh, this is the timozolamide. This is also the triazine structure. So these are these three drugs are common triazine derivatives. If we will talk about the chemical overview of alkylating agent, what is contained chemically? The alkylating agent are the class of drug that are capable of forming covalent bond with the important biomolecules. The major target of drug action are nucleophilic group present on DNA, especially 7th position of guanine. However, protein and RNA among other may also be alkylated. There are several potential nucleophilic sites on DNA which are susceptible to electrophilic attack by alkylating agent like nitrogen second, nitrogen third, nitrogen seven of guanine and N1, N3 and N7 of adenine and 0 to 6 of thiamine and N3 of cytosine. So potential mechanism of cell death include activation of atop apoptosis caused by P30, 53 activation and disruption of template function of DNA. The most important of these for many alkylating agent is N7 position of guanine whose nucleophilicity may be enhanced by adjacent guanine residues. Additionally, if we will talk about alkylating agent, this alkylation has been proposed to result in altered base pairing away from the normal guanine cytosine bond and adenine thiamine nitrogen bonds because of alteration in tautomerism. The alkylation also leads to increase acidity of the N1 nitrogen reducing the pK from 9 to 7 to 8 giving rise to a jitter ionic form that may be also misfair. Jitter ionic nothing but the ion which contain both char positive as well as negative that is called jitter ion. If we will talk about SAR of alkylating agent, SAR means structure activity relationship of alkylating agent. If, if we will discuss in this, this alkylating agent produce highly reactive carbonium ion intermediate 
और रिलेटेड ट्रांजिशन कॉम्प्लेक्स विच ट्रांसफर एल्काइल ग्रुप टू सेलुलर माइक्रोमोलिक्यूल बाय कोवल एंड बॉन्ड वी डिस्कस बिफोर दैट कि देर इज वन ग्वान इन एन सेवन पोजिशन सो दिस एल्काइलेटिंग एजेंट इज फॉर्म कोवल एंड बॉन्ड विद दी एन सेवन पोजिशन ऑफ ग्वान इन एल्काइलेटिंग एजेंट क्रॉस लिंक्ड विद कार्बोक्सिलिक हाइड्रोक्सिल अमाइनो सल्फाइड्रिल एंड फॉस्पिट ग्रुप्स ऑफ बायोमोलिक्यूल्स रिजल्ट एब नॉर्मल वे स्पेरिंग सेशन ऑफ डी एन ए स्ट्रेंड द केमोथेरापेटिक एंड साइटोटॉक्सिक इफेक्ट्स आर डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू द एल्काइलेशन ऑफ डी एन ए द सेवन नाइट्रोजन आइटम ऑफ गॉन एन इज सुटेबल फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कॉबल एंड बॉन्ड विद बाई फंक्शनल एल्काइलेटिंग एजेंट सो लास्ट इन दिस टॉपिक इन सिलेबस दे आर गिवन द सिंथेसिस ऑफ मैक्लोरेथामाइन सो इफ यू विल गो फॉर सिंथेसिस ऑफ मैक्लोरेथामाइन यू हैव टू रिक्वायर टू मोल्स ऑफ इथाइलिन ऑक्साइड विथ मिथाइलमाइन एंड इट विल जनरेट दिस ट्रांजिशन कॉम्प्लेक्स दिस ट्रांजिशन कॉम्प्लेक्स इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ थाइनल क्लोराइड इट विल गिव्स मैक्लोरेथामाइन सो दीज आर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ मैक्लोरेथामाइन इट इज ऑल अबाउट द मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री ऑफ एल्काइलेटिंग एजेंट एज एंटी कैंसर वी डिस्कस ऑल फिनोमिनल और ऑल पॉइंट्स अबाउट एल्काइलेटिंग एजेंट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वायरी यू कैन कमेंट लाइक द वीडियो एंड शेयर सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मोर वीडियो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड स्टेट यून विथ सी डी आई पी इंदौर थैंक यू